This demonstration is to show the correct application of a PLCS medium pressure bell joint kit for mains working at up to 25 PSI. Each kit comes complete in a carton containing the mold, banding, pressurizing rod, Velcro strap, primer, a primer brush, a pair of gloves and an instruction leaflet. All medium pressure kits are dry, that is, without sealant. The box label tells you how much sealant to use with each kit. First reduce the leak to a minimum by recorking the lead and then clean an area around the pipe joint down to bare metal by using a portable grip blaster with a suitable grit. Grip blasting is the fastest way of cleaning the pipe and the operator is cool and clean inside a hood with his own air supply. Check the underside with a mirror to ensure it is also clean. This joint area should be kept dry, do not soap test after grip blasting. Apply a thin coat of primer with the brush using a scrubbing action. Here we are not actually a priming pl primer because we need to get the sealant off this pipe afterwards. Wrap the mold around the joint with the neck at the 12 o'clock position. Close the zipper and with one hand underneath, carefully press the Velcro together firmly and evenly to create no wrinkles. Large moles have a non-return flap sewn in the bottom of the neck to prevent sealant back pressure. They are also fitted with a vent. These moles should be installed with the vent at the 12 o'clock position instead of the neck. Bend the start of each band over to form a lead-in and slide them through the channels in the mold. Insert the leading edge into its buckle and then through the channel once more. And finally again through the buckle. When all four bands are inserted, correct the mold position and pull the bands hand tight. The hub band should be, should be positioned slightly back from the front edge of the hub face. Pull this band hand tight first and hold it in position by bending the band over the buckle slightly. Next pull the outer hub band tight and then the two spigot bands. Pull the mold away from the hub face by using the free material so that adequate coverage is obtained. Using the bandit tool, tighten until noticeable resistance is felt. Now bend the tool over the buckle while backing off the handle half a turn. Spin the handle back out to the top of its screw and slide the nose of the tool up the banding about two inches. Now push the nose forward until it is touching the banding above the buckle and cut the spare banding off using the built-in cutter. Hold the end of the banding down with your thumb and bend over the buckle tabs to hold the banding in place. Do not flatten the metal band at the bend as this may cause a stress crack and result in band failure. Repeat with all four bands. If the bandit tool cannot fully tighten the band the first time, spin the handle out and repeat the procedure until the band is tight.
finally bend the sharp ends of any bands away from the mold to prevent them accidentally piercing the mold fabric. Pour the part B sealant into the part A and mix thoroughly with a jiffy mixer for one timed minute. Make sure that you use low speed 500 RPM drill as the power source so that it has sufficient torque to mix the sealant on a cold day. We recommend using stainless steel jiffy mixers to mix the sealant. They have a much better mixing action, scrape the bottom and sides of the can and will not fall off into the sealant. Clean the cured sealant off with a knife every day and one jiffy mixer will last for many years. Spin the head of the mixer into the carton to remove the excess sealant. Fold the top of the neck over to hold it open and pour the sealant into the neck that is to a level that is no higher than four inches below the rod holes. the top of the neck so that the holes in it line up and then thread the fiberglass pressurizing rod through the holes and gather the neck together leaving about one third of the rod sticking out from one end and two thirds sticking out from the other. Hold the neck close below the rod and with one hand while simultaneously twisting the rod around with the other. Pulling upwards on the rod while twisting down will assist the flow of sealant into the mold and also prevent the base of the neck from twisting shut. Pressurize the mold to 10 psi above mains pressure. Any gas which has leaked during the short period from starting the twist down to overcoming mains pressure will be trapped at to the top of the neck. While maintaining pressure, slide the Velcro strap over the long end of the rod and lock it off by wrapping the Velcro around the Velcro at the base of the neck. If the mold has a vent, now is the time to crack the valve to allow any trapped gas to escape. Taking care not to allow the gauge to drop below mains pressure. Watch the gauge for 10 minutes and add more twist to the rod if the gauge shows that the pressure in the mold has dropped close to mains pressure. Pressure naturally drops a little as the mold adjusts itself. Once the pressure has stabilized above mains pressure, the encapsulation is complete. This medium pressure encapsulation was completed in about 12 minutes.